Make a note that those of us like Mr. Hall and and Mr. Slaughter and I, who served on the planning commission, don't get paid a penny. It cost us a dollar a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> that it cost us to go look at the sites and drive there. So where is this money going again? And we got 100% of our money's worth out of y'all. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the cost you pay to serve you down there. What? Uh, <laughs> So could you tell us where that money is going again? Um, primarily what you're uh, paying into is the MPA. <clears throat> Metropolitan Planning Organization. And what do they do for us? You are required because you reach metropolitan status to have a Metropolitan Planning uh, Organization to address traffic concerns. So all requests or DOT funding, federal highway funding, goes to the uh, MPO, uh, and the RDC is the I guess, agency that provides the, the, the uh, administrative services, and uh, the chairman uh, is a member, I am a member, the mayor, um, city manager, um, the executive director of the South Georgia Regional Commission um, and a selectee from uh, as mayor from one of the other cities and that is the executive committee along with uh, a technical committee made up of the engineers and representatives from the DOT uh, both in this district office as well as um, office in Atlanta and the Federal Highway Administration. So all those uh, requests go through that organization and that's what they provide. Corey Hull is the staff representative for that. So this is primarily for traffic, if I understand you correctly. And transportation. And we are required by what law you to have that the metropolitan status. status. That is the method by which you are required to deal with your transportation issues for, as I said, both local, state, and federal. And you say RDC it handles the administrative aspects of it. Yes. And so, therefore, we will probably never be able to get out of paying that dues, I guess, because I remember you said something about... <laughs> I was law. thinking if we get away from all the computers and the uh, technology services, probably we won't have to do so. State law requires okay. that you were a member of the uh, original commission. If you had to assign a percentage to the budget that's mandated, that we have no choice, just to satisfy my curiosity, that doesn't move our conversation today forward one inch. What percentage would you assign to the budget that's mandated? You have no choice, you have to do it. 60, 60, 65%. I was going to say about 70. 65. My curiosity is <laughs> Okay, thank you. So 60 to 70% of our budget is mandated by state or federal law, and how much of that is unfunded mandate? Basically, most of it is, unless we get some grants here or there. We're being told we have to come up with this money by people who um, give us no money to come up with. <laughs> Most of that now, 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 in all seriousness, how do, how do we coordinate with someone like Mike Fletcher with engineering, Robin English with public works, when they deal with traffic and roads and all that, you know, transportation issues here locally, with the MPO that you served on there, Joe, how do we coordinate if we're required to have a traffic plan by the state to this MPO and our regional commission? How do we coordinate with our local departments? Mike is a member of the technical review committee. So 
he works closely with um, the other engineering staff for the city, for the state, um, and um, has a very good, I think all of our locals have a very good line of communication with uh, not only the NPO, but also the uh, state and federal agencies. Um, they meet on a quarterly basis, and, um, and I, I think it works fine. Uh, it is just a requirement that the state had, because of the needs of the metropolitan community being somewhat different than non-metropolitan communities. The uh, Department of Transportation Federal Highway System felt that this was a better way to address long-range goals, um, such as Forest Street. Uh, all the communities involved uh, discuss all of their projects at those meetings, and you have a better flow of information that, of what one agency or one government is doing in regards to another. So they, uh, our department stay well informed with the DOT and the Federal Highway System.